get it outdoors, you ain't watching nothing good. Thank you, Jesus. Jeez. Oh man, you don't you don't get no better than that right there. Are right, you guys? I'm here at a new place. Um, I've gotten permission to hunt. It's actually my boss. Um and check out this tree stand y'all I'm going to hunt in. It's actually not a tree stand, but it's that stand. <laughs> I'm going to hunt out of the window right there from his barn. About 20 to 25 yards to the post right here. I'm going to probably put up a camera somewhere over there. There's trees. This is going to be exciting. I'm going to score some uh, uh, white oak happy herd coat all right here in this grassy area. Um... So we're just going to see what comes in and uh, we're going to hang a trail camera up and see what happens. This is going to be fun. I've never hunted out of anything more like a house other than a box stand. But this is going to be the Taj Mahal, baby. This is going to be fun, man. Look at all this area right here. Deer can come out from anywhere right here, y'all. This is going to be awesome. I'm excited, y'all. This is... This is going to be cool. This is going to be another place where I can shoot anything pretty much. He he said, my boss told me, he said, there is not an area, and, and all of this property he owns, he said, there is not an area here um, where there's not a deer. So you know there's deer everywhere. He sent me a picture of a, like a huge body buck and had a real good rack. And we'll see how really big he is if he shows up on camera. And then got some does, fawns and stuff in here, so... This is going to be awesome. This is going to be a nice little place. I'm pumped. All right, you guys. I just put up a trail camera right here at this tree. Basically, just see um, what all's going on. I see there's a trail that goes yonder that way. Kind of curves. I guess it goes left and right. There's a little area out there. But look at this whole entire field. And there's the barn right there. Y'all, this is going to be awesome. I'm pumped. Let's get that happy herd out and see what comes in. Here is the walkway to our stand, y'all. There you go. Now, I'm going to take this window off and just going to practice getting that window off so I know what to do when I come here next time. Actually, we're going to worry about the uh, trying to get the screen off another day because um, he, he said he hadn't done it in so long. So, um, but y'all, this is the view here and perfect. This That telephone uh, pole is the 20 yard mark, pretty much. Look at that. And once most little rifle season comes in, all of that, y'all, shoot. My camera is. On a tree right in that area somewhere so so how exciting is that and then there's a ladder back down <laughs> all right guys we're gonna try something different today first time i'm hunting behind my house this year uh, the plan was going to go to i was going to go to that place where all the big does have been at um where i got so close the other day when i went in the state for five minutes but I went over there to put corn out today, and there's a bunch of people working all like right there, like just less than 100 yards definitely from where I'm hunting, so that's off. Just make sure there's no deer in here before I sleep in. Two young bucks were out here, out in the field, uh, Saturday night when it was raining. funky looking buck and a, uh, a young eight pointer. I don't hear any blowing so I think we're okay. So it's shoot a doe or a big buck in here. 
pretty much like at that other place see anything over here because you're never guaranteed especially what I'm looking at right now there's nobody in them but you can see right there yellow bulldozers or uh, uh, working machines and folks deer are not scared of that it would be different if they're making noise and if uh, people were in them right now as you can see they're just sitting there and the deer have still been right right here there's the stand and there's the corn let's do it y'all are you guys me
guys, I don't know. I saw a lot of the arrow was sticking out. I'm gonna have to go take a look at the footage. All right, you guys, we have found first blood. I don't know how well you can see it, but that right there is first blood. A little bit right here, and there's dried blood pretty much on these leaves. And then about 10 yards up, there's more blood, but other than that, we haven't found anything. Nut is like small things of blood. So, what we're gonna do is my cousin has called um, Eli Godwin from uh, Next Southern Generation Outdoors on YouTube. I'll introduce you guys to him. Uh, we're gonna probably try to plan a waterfowl hunt for you guys, so that'll be exciting. But other than that, He's going to bring his tracking dog. Stay tuned. Hey there. Is that the tracking? Oh, she got a lab. Oh, oh smelling right there where she was at. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Eli Godwin. Nice to meet you. This is, uh, this is the next generation, next southern generation outdoors, right? That's right. That's, That's right, buddy. You're yeah. on camera for Hunter Ridge Outdoors. Hopefully we can find this deer for you. I hope so too, buddy. There's, there's blood right there on that limb. Yeah, I see. So. She running straight up this way. Let's see, you know, the next blood's right there on that leaf somewhere over there. All right, you guys. Oh, look at here. Two new buddies. Ah, these are my grandparents' deer. Uh, boy, these, these deer have been here for 30 years. I think they say it's the uh, uh, Guinness World Record of uh, oldest deer. <laughs> just kidding. You get the story. Um, pretty much the story is, I'm just going to stand beside this while... I'm going to stand beside these two while I talk about this. So, you may be wondering. No, we did not find the doe I shot last night, unfortunately. Um, we believe that um, the hard smack you heard when the arrow hit that doe most likely was the scapula bone. So, when that arrow hit the scapula, that... that Rage Broadhead cannot open up when it's in that huge, thick bone. Um, like I said, just tiny little areas of blood. Um, nothing much. Like, nothing at all, hardly, pretty much. Um, we took Dolly, um, the Black Lab, Eli's um, dog. She got tracking, and she was on a trail for something for a while. Didn't find anything. Um, she started kind of zigzagging, and we knew it was time for her to put her up. So me and my cousin Eli went to go look a little more. Well, we got towards the other field, and lo and behold, y'all, we saw three sets of eyes looking at us. And that's how many deer came when I shot. You get the big doe and the two fawns. And I happen to wonder if them fawns regrouped back with that doe after I shot and if that's the case that big doe is totally fine and honestly from that I can tell you guys that big doe is pretty much gonna be okay cuz the arrow when I hit it didn't get no vitals pretty much if it did hit that scapula bone it didn't hit any vitals all you heard was a huge smack, and you thought that doe was smoked, but she really wasn't. Um, she, I believe y'all 100% almost she's going to be okay. Um, I'll let you guys know ASAP if I do get her on camera. Um, but like I said, that's the unfortunate part of bow hunting. I need to practice more. Looked like a good shot, though, didn't it? And it sounded like a heck of a shot. But that sound you heard is when that arrow hit that scapula. And from then on, man, it was just um, do the best you can. Um, but the good news is I'm, I pretty much sure think she's alive and okay. Um, maybe she'll show up in a couple days back on camera. I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, we believe it hit that scapula. No vitals, and um, I believe she's fine, and we may try to go after her again. Lord willing, she's okay. But um, I definitely want to let you guys know I'm so sorry, disappointed all you guys. I can promise you, though, 
we will get one on the ground for y'all okay guys I'm here at the computer right now and I want to show you guys this picture of a deer skeleton so basically right around there is where I'd be aiming at the lungs near the heart um, so folks, well, I honestly believe what happened, you're probably looking at it right now, a footage of the doe. I didn't know at the time when I shot her she was coring away just a tad from me until I looked at the footage. But when she was coring away, notice her uh, right front leg was not parallel with the other. It was barely, um, you know, just kind of back a little bit. And I guarantee you that's the reason why that arrow ended up hitting that uh, scapula. Because when the leg is back, that scapula is protecting uh, the lungs or the vitals from any, you know, broadhead of an arrow or anything like that. So if y'all can see how that leg is back a little bit, that's probably why And when I shot, she dumped and then it hit the scapula. So... If she, if, if she, if if, her, if that other leg was parallel to the other and she hadn't jumped as much, I probably would have drilled her. But other than that, the only thing I can say is that it was the right timing for her to do that. She had the leg back a little bit where the scapula was in position to get hit. Sure enough, she dunked and she got hit by the arrow in the scapula. So... Folks, hopefully she's uninjured and not hurt at all. Hopefully she'll be fine. And uh, from then on, we just move on. Alright guys, back here at the place where um, the toes are at, the big toes are at. Um, we're here to try to redeem ourselves from Monday, the big loss. Um, where I shot that doe.
smoked her baby. Freaking smoked her baby. Smoked. Smoked. There she goes. Boom. Dead right there. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Saw her. Yoni, y'all saw that, did you? <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Yes. Yes. That was picture perfect, baby. So, I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm shaking. Y'all know what happened Monday. Shot a doe. I was bummed. I waited forever for her. She was kind of courting to me a little bit, and I waited for her to move. That leg, that leg was back, you know. I was waiting for it to go front. Well, my golly, she did. She stepped out finally, finally. She kept holding her right there, and y'all, I just drilled her. <laughs> you guys, it happened so quick, I totally forgot she was at the, standing right under the feeder when I shot. But y'all, look at this. Nothing but lung blood. I'd seen. And ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm, yep, there she is, big freaking doe down y'all, <laughs> yes, oh yeah, holy Toledo, yes sir, oh nice doe. All right, that's where it come out. Perfect. Oh man, there's all the blood. Good Lord, look at that blood on that tree. Blood there. Thank you, Jesus. That's a nice dove right there, y'all. This is the hard work right here, boys. But hey, sure does feel good. Punch the first tag of the deer season 2023. Come on. Come on, big girl. It's gonna go right here to that Edge of the gravel, that way I can load her up. Alright, let's see how we're going to get over this ditch right here. That's a big old girl. Oh. Here we go. There we go. Yes. Woo. Right before I tipped my all by myself load up a deer in the back of the truck i'd like to give a shout out to wade rush and bubba round tree outdoors wade hope you're watching this and i'm about to do well kind of do what your old pop uh captain buster does he gets a sheet of plywood puts it down on the end and uses a strap or something to load the deer with well i ain't got no plywood sheet buddy but i do have a good old green strap let's see how i can do this all right, you guys, let's see how the good this goes. Here we go. I did it! That went good, y'all. That was the part I was worried about, being on the first time hunt by myself, by myself driving a car here. We did it! Woo!